Why did you go to the gambling places, huh? We had the same arrangement over a long period of time. No policeman ever go to gambling club. Foolish man, rude. I'm going to have to tell your superiors. Well, it won't be the first time, Uncle Harry. I'm glad you guys are here. Saves me some lung power. This is it. I'll give it to you fast. There's a new marshal in town. No. Me. New marshal means new rules. New rules means no more street violence. You call it the gangs. I don't want to see their fucking faces unless they're bringing me spare ribs in a restaurant. I don't care what you do. Get them jobs catching cockroaches. I don't care. But you get them off the streets. Nobody can control the gang. Everybody knows that. Too big a problem. Captain, Chinatown behind you all the way in favor of what you do. You take gang kid in the alley. You put back over the head. You beat them with club. Chinatown behind you. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Good. Because I'm going to need your help. I'm going to put a stop to all this bribe paying and extortion to the gangs. And I want the help of all 60 families. 60 uh, families? Merchant no, no, Association. No, 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 no. So I want you wait people. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Captain. This is very difficult. Very, very difficult. It's a long history. For thousands of years, Chinese do not go to the police. If they go to the police, they'll get in trouble. So, I'll tell you straight. Nobody will come to see you. No one. No one. No disrespect is intended to the police by our remarks. But if the citizens of Chinatown regard what you call extortion and bribery as part of the course of doing business and have felt that way for thousands of years, why should you be so concerned? What about the ones that don't want to pay? <laughs> they call me the devil. You know, Captain, when I first came to New York, I worked as a waiter in a restaurant. I saw something terrible happen because my boss did not want to pay. I signed a complaint against a gang leader who was arrested. Next day, he was out on the streets again. Now, six months go by before his trial, and the police chief was transferred to the Bronx. This was, what, uh, six, or six or seven chiefs before McKenna? Seven. And the new chiefs dropped the charges. Three months later, I got stabbed right here. Sure, see? You must understand, Captain, to us, your good Samaritan was a fool to risk the security of his family to help a stranger. Uh, you're too impressed with yourself. Fuck you. What did you say? I said, fuck you. I'm tired of all this Chinese this, Chinese that. You people, you think gambling, extortion, corruption are kosher? Because it's a thousand years old? All this thousand-year-old stuff, it's a lot of shit to me. This is America you're living in, and it's 200 years old, so you better get your clocks fixed. You're not special, and you're not beyond the law any more than the Puerto Ricans or the Polacks. So we're all going to obey the law the way it says. So start doing something about it and fast. We're all going to suffer. You can believe that. <laughs>